Does your kid have what it takes to be a Broadway level triple threat? Well, we're lucky to have a Broadway veteran herself and a former Miss South Carolina in the house. Miss Kenny Lee, we love it when you come in and how awesome was it at that? Oh, we had yes. Dana to see I her was too. so thrilled to see her walk in. I just saw her win on stage on Saturday night. I even had the pleasure of coaching her last year, so I was so proud of her. You and also, I am all my students, but you do it all. Oh, yeah. Okay, I don't know if South Carolina realizes how lucky we are to have you here in the Upstate and these camps that you do. Because before we talk about the camp, give me just you know a little thirty second into your your history and your Broadway oh. career. We could talk for two days about. <laughs> Well, you know, I started here. I grew up here. My mom was a dance teacher for over 50 years. We discovered I could sing at a young age. Went to her voice teacher, Iva Dixon, who was legendary in this area. Uh, went to Converse um, for my um, music degree. But when I was eight years old, I visited New York City for the first time with my mom and grandmother. And I said, I want to live here and be on Broadway one day. And my mom said, well, in 20 years, somebody has to. So why not you? Well, Six that. weeks shy of my 28th birthday Broadway debut. So be careful what you wish for. You get an easy little number, Phantom. I'm not sure if you know anyone can do those though. You know, guys know De Debbie Gibson was a pop, big pop star uh -huh. in the in the 80s, 90s, and she's coming back. She came on Broadway to do Beauty and the Beast for a while, and we did an event together. And she said to me, "Oh, the vocals." <laughs> Which I thought was funny because that's not a term we use in the more classical world. But right. she, you know, it was like mad respect, and I was like, yeah. "Thank you, thank, thank you, Debbie." Yeah, exactly. Let's hang out in the mall. What do you mean when you say a triple threat? Okay, thanks for asking. Yeah. <clears throat> so on Broadway, you really have to be obviously a singer in a musical. Yes. On Broadway, for a straight play, as we call it, you might not necessarily need to sing, but it's a good idea because you've got the breath support and projection and all of that. But uh, for a musical, you have to be able to sing, dance, act. Those are your triple threat. These days, it's not a bad idea to also learn a musical oh, instrument. Gosh. There goes my so there's a quadruple threat. <laughs> it's not too late. It's not too late, Megan. Cool. But right now, we're going to concentrate on the three. the three. And if you have a kid, are you looking for kids that maybe already have discovered that they have? Or what if there's someone that's like, I don't know, maybe, I, maybe I can. Yeah, absolutely. All levels are welcome. If you're already a killer dancer, that's okay. There's a lot to learn this week. Uh, if you've never danced, if you've never sung, if you've never been in an acting class of any type, this is a great, great experience. Beginner to advanced. I have a great improv teacher that comes in. That's a really fun day as well. So, And we try to put together a little showcase for the, the ending, the yeah. last day, and I call it the callback. Oh. So everybody gets a callback. Oh, yeah. And everybody gets a chance to do about 16 bars of a song, which is about what you get to do and yeah, so many auditions. Songs, yeah. And then I work with them a little bit and do what we call redirecting, which you would get a redirect from a casting yes. director or a director. So we do that so they can see what that's like in the real world. Yes, and this is someone with real world experience, y'all. You would pay so much money if it was not offered, <laughs> you know, by a sweet Kimberly. It's <laughs> next week, right? It's, it is July 15th through the 15th. Okay, okay, so oh, so one, one more week to sign up. One more week. Yes. Where is it going to be? It's going to be at Heather's Dance Academy in Greenville. It's right across from the Home Depot on okay. Pleasant Bird. Yes. Uh, so, but you can email, there's my email there as well uh, to uh, get in touch and register. But that's where we'll be uh, for Monday through Friday. And, and, we, and we've been doing it for 10, this is our 10th year. Um, on the Monday through Thursday, we do a morning and an afternoon class okay. depending on the age. And then the Friday, we do our little showcase sort of after work hours so parents and grandparents can come, come and see have it. a look. Yeah. Yeah. Think of it all. We will put this on our Facebook page after the show so you can make sure you do it because this is seriously something if your kid has any interest at all in theater you need to go to this camp so you can kind of you know just and, get them ready and I just thought maybe also we could do a little promo for your Carolina watchers and if you put like a little code YC you can get a five dollar off of oh, that we you're so sweet, sweet. You. <laughs> thank you Miss Kimmy Lee you do everything this is great again this will be posted on our Facebook page right after the show we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back with more Your Carolina next.